whose whose decision was it to get on TikTok with it? Um, honestly, I think there's a woman, Rachel from digital marketing, and I had been doing some stuff with trailer before I still do stuff with trailer sometimes, but they, they were like, well, there's this new app coming out and they're getting like a hundred million new, uh, new, a hundred million, a hundred million new like users a month. We want you to go on here. We think you'll be good at it. Uh, and we think your songs could go. So they put all the songs on there and I had done a couple of videos just like, not really understanding what TikTok was or how to grow on that platform, but just using my song and they didn't really do anything, but people like the song Valentino and I through through some, some miracle, it, it got the right people that the right creators that needed to see it saw it and the song just kept going and going and going. And I caught on that. It was starting, that it was going to blow up at probably around like, 12,000 videos because every time I, every hour I would refresh it every day I would re, every hour I would refresh it would be another thousand videos every day another 5,000 videos 10,000 videos mm -hmm. so once I saw it going up I was like I'm gonna I'm gonna make my own TikTok account and or I'm gonna continue using my own TikTok account and just make videos for my songs for other songs funny videos pranks whatever just so that like people would know oh that's the Valentino guy and we want to follow him because mm. he made that song. So now people fuck with me, not just my song. And now I can promote whatever song I want on my own TikTok. I got like 650,000 followers on there now in a couple months. Even now, like a lot of artists who are moving um, now and getting songs blow up on there, they're not thinking about, yo, I need to actually create content. I have a hard time getting artists to create content when, when we're making their songs take off. Cause there's like, okay, yeah, I'm happy with the results that I'm getting over here. It's like, no, you need to do what you said, right? Yeah. You go from, Hey, I like this Valentino song to, Hey, here's that Valentino guy. Right. And Oh, I like that Valentino guy. Yeah. And next thing you know, this Valentino guy has another song and yeah. now you, you know, you're just 24 K golden, you know, like, like they're not willing to take it through that process while it's free and easy. And you have something recon recognizing um, that you could be recognized for, like, um, when, what was your experience as a content creator on, on that side of things? Did you feel like it flowed naturally for you or um, was there kind of like a few, a period of like bumping your head and having to figure it out? Uh, there was definitely, it was a learning process, you know, uh, luckily for me, I, I just turned 19 in November. So I'm at the age where, where I think it would be easier if I was in high school because it's like organic, everyone's using TikTok and now People are using TikTok at my age, but it's like, it's still, it's, it's not a platform that we grew up on. Like we're mm -hmm. not being introduced to it at the same talk, excuse me, at the same time that we were introduced Instagram or Twitter. So it was a lot of just watching videos, just always being on TikTok and just letting my brain like soak it up. Like, all right, what is doing well? What is on my for you page? And then also reaching out with TikTokers. Like you think TikTokers don't want to meet, meet up and collab with a rapper? Like, most TikTokers are just regular yeah. people that, that, that blew up or that want to do social media. And for me, like being a rapper is like the coolest thing that, that you could do. Basketball players want to be rappers, man. Fucking bro out the Pats wants to be a rapper. Like everybody <laughs> wants to be a rapper. Like, yeah. so, so, so I leveraged that too, to, to collab with other people that were more familiar with the platform and that could, that could give me knowledge uh, about how to best use the platform too. Mm. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, so steady learning, researching yourself, and then leveraging other people's knowledge and flipping, understanding your position. So I think one thing that I think that's going to help you win big, bro, is multiple times out of this conversation, I've heard you have self-awareness about your position at the moment. And, yeah. and then that allows you to flip it to the next point, right? Yeah. Right. Because a lot of people don't understand uh, being a rapper is a thing. Being a, Having a certain stigma, well, not, let's say not use stigma, that's looked at negatively, but like having a certain perspective that people view it, view you as, even if the numbers aren't there, there's still this idea. Like there's some, I don't know, let's just say like Jet Magazine or Essence Magazine, right? It's not a popping magazine or something to this day, but a lot of black people used to, you know, that was popping in the day. And if they ask me to do something, even if their name isn't popping, 
just because I have that perspective growing up and understand what that might look like to my family or something like that, yeah. right? It's like, just for all other types of reasons, understanding the position of where you are in the brand, like you can do a lot of things that might not seem to be justifiable because of how people see you versus the the regular um, landscape. So I think that's real, I don't know, to me that stands out, man, that, that you were able to kind of figure that out as far as like, hey, I'm a rapper, these people are still normal, even if they got more followers than me or whatever. Right, that, yeah. that, that makes me somebody. Thanks for watching today's video. It wouldn't be possible without our sponsor, Ditto. Try it out for your next release. No money, you can try it out for completely free, but start making money as you reach more fans across the globe. All while owning 100% of your royalties. So visit www.dittom.us slash brandman dash network. We'll put that in the description and on the screen because I know it's a lot, but I gotta add, if you use the code BRANDMAN50, you will get 50% off of already cheap. It's an unbelievable deal. Check them out.